The Rocky fire is relentless. It exploded again overnight, fanned by erratic winds over bone dry brush. The latest advance prompted more evacuations and destruction as Nikki Shatter returned to her neighborhood of Lower Lake. I feel so bad. There's hundreds of people that live down there that just their houses are ashes and everyone we know that lives down there, they have nothing anymore. It's crazy. But for every home destroyed, many others have been saved. Still thousands more are at risk. As now nearly 2,000 firefighters man the ever shifting fire lines. Here we go. Among them, Captain Chad Smith, who's worked one month solid going fire to fire. Sadly, I think when we're done with this one, we'll be on to the next one. Does it wear you out? It does, yep. His team is now setting backfires, trying to stop the main fire from crossing Highway 20, a major link to cities in Northern California. Late yesterday, we encountered those larger flames with Cal Fire spokesman Bryce Bennett. The fire has changed direction. We've, we've seen some swirling winds. We were in a safe zone, a clearing the size of two football fields, but the flames kept getting closer. I see firefighters leaving. What does that mean? It's time to go. So we're going to retreat and regroup and come up with a different plan. How long do you think before the fire is coming through this area? Uh, probably less than an hour. It was much less. Within minutes, flames raced from one hillside over our exit road and up the next ridge. As we sheltered in place for two hours, it was a first-hand look at how an already huge fire had managed to double in size overnight. This is the new front line of the fire, and it's absolutely crucial that firefighters keep it on this side of the road. Now, one way to do that is to set more backfires, but Elaine, the terrain here is just so rugged, they'd have to light those fires from the air with what firefighters call a heli torch.